Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Kate. So today we're going to give a talk about arch pain. So that's one of the most common things we see is pain in the arch. So when we say arch, I'm talking about pain maybe in the heel, but a little bit further forward in the, in the foot there. So arch pain, when people come, they sit in the chair in the clinic and they'll tell you their story. Okay, what is, what is one of the most common times of the day that people will say that their feet and their arch is hurting? Yeah, the most common story I hear is when people complain of arch pain first thing in the morning when they get out of bed, as soon as they put their feet on the ground, they go to take the first few steps and yeah. their arch just feels really tight, really painful and they mm. feel like they have to grab onto something. Yeah. Um, that and in the evenings after they've been sitting down for a while, maybe watching mm. TV or eating dinner and they again go to get up and those first few steps just almost sometimes they fall to the ground, it's that bad. Yeah. yeah, it's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and thinking, I don't want to put my feet on the ground. Yeah. So if you are feeling like that, if you've thought that, this video is for you, mm -hmm. for sure. So, now what is the reason that the pain is so bad after rest, Kate? Mm -hmm. I get asked that question a lot. Yeah. How, how do you answer that when people ask? The best way I describe it is, um, when you're resting, when you've got your feet up, when you don't have that weight on them, um, your body's trying to heal itself up. So it's laying down this scar tissue to try and get this injury better, uh, which is awesome, except when we go to stand up and put weight back on it, our feet, um, the foot stretches out and it breaks apart that scar tissue and that's where that pain just really kicks in. Mm. Yeah. All that swelling yeah. is painful and mm. often people will say oh well, after two or three or five minutes it sort of calms down it doesn't go away but it's yeah. like it's bearable and it's um but it's those first few steps that are really bad yeah i had a guy yesterday saying i don't sit down on my um it was the first time i'd seen him and he's telling me his story he said i don't sit down at lunchtime anymore because if i sit down i can barely get up again after yeah. 15 minutes yeah so it's a really debilitating and really makes life unpleasant mm. if, if you know that when you stand up one or yeah. both of your feet are going to be in terrible pain, pain yeah yeah. Now, what is the most common cause of this pain and inflammation in the heel? Like, what would you say is the most common reason for pain in that area? Uh, yeah, definitely the most common diagnosis I get is that plantar fasciitis, which um, it starts sort of around the heel, but then goes through the arch of the foot as well too. So sometimes it's just the arch, sometimes it's just the heel, sometimes it's both. Mm. Um, either way, not fun at all. Yeah. Yeah. And if you thought someone had that, is there any kind of scans that you might send them for? Yeah, we can definitely do diagnostic ultrasounds, refer for that, um, mm. where they are, yeah, the guys will take an ultrasound on the foot, look at the tendon, look at, see if it's inflamed, if it's swollen, if there's any tears in the tendon as mm. well, that might um, sort of delay healing as well mm. too, yeah. Take it longer. Yeah. If, if people have had this pain, I mean, it's probably important to realize if you've got problems with your feet, come and see us. You yeah. don't need to see a doctor for a referral and you don't need to see a doctor to get the scans done. We can do it. We we're, can do that as well. Yeah, we're right yeah. next door to Q scan. We can send you straight through, get it done within even a day or two mm. if, if we need to do scans. So we really are able to solve all of your, of your foot problems, particularly if you've got an arch pain like this. We yeah. see this every day, yeah. many, many times. Yeah. <laughs> the most common reason. Um, for that pain under the foot is this generally the plantar fasciitis. Yeah. I do want to mention another cause of pain. Sometimes people's pain won't be under the foot, but on the top of the foot. Yeah. So that arch pain can be you know, what we call dorsal foot pain. And the most common reason for that would be arthritis in those joints. Mm -hmm. Now it's really important that you see someone who looks at feet all day because we can, within two seconds, we can determine generally for most people, what is wrong and why it's happened? Because mm -hmm. all we do all day is look at feet, can okay? That's all day, that's all we do. So we get really good at looking at that. It's really important if the diagnosis is wrong, the treatment's gonna be wrong too. Wrong as well, yeah. yeah. So the way we treat plantar fasciitis or a soft tissue inflammation is very different from the way we're gonna treat a bone related pathology. Yeah. Yeah. And a third cause of pain in that area, just to throw it in there, is often nerve pain. Yeah. So. Most people have heard of carpal tunnel syndrome, is where the nerve in your wrist can get pinched and cause tingling or weakness in the hands. What most people don't know is you have the exact same problem in the foot called tarsal tunnel syndrome, and that's where the big nerve behind the ankle runs on the inside of the ankle, and it, will, it actually gives you all the nerve and muscle control to the bottom of the foot. That can get pinched as well, and it can cause the cause of tunnel, uh, tarsal tunnel syndrome, in which we have various ways of treating that as well uh -huh. so yeah no matter what's wrong with yeah. the arch no matter what the cause of the pain is 
We have lots of tricks for these things. Lots of different options for all sorts of problems. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got plantar fasciitis, if you've got any of these other issues, we've got tons of videos on specific treatments we can do for those, which we go into detail in those other videos. But um, yeah, it's important if you have arch pain to let us know. So the best way to get in to see us, Kate, what's the best way through the um, business hours to get in Yeah, to so best way is definitely give us a call. The girls on the front desk are awesome and they'll ask you a couple of questions about why you're coming in to mm. make sure we give you the right treatment and advice as well. Um, give us a call or book online as well too. Mm. You're, you know, in pain yeah. at night and we're not open. Exactly. Hop online and you can still make an appointment in real time. Yeah. If it's 2am and you're watching this, yeah. get online because you can book in tomorrow morning. We'll probably have a few spots we can get you in. Yeah. Uh, and when, if you do call, our team knows exactly what's going on. They're not going to diagnose your problem, but there's nothing you can tell them that they haven't heard before. Yeah. So just tell them what's wrong, tell them, tell them how long you've had it, and they'll get you in as soon as they can okay. with whoever they think is going to be able to best help you here at our clinic. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope this has been useful, and we'll talk to you another time. See ya. Bye.